Somebody just came on my page and said, when you lease, don't they charge you for every dent and ding? Well, if you own the car and you pulled up at the dealership to trade it and it had dents, wouldn't it be worth less? If it had bald tires, wouldn't it be worth less? If it had a brake job necessary, brakes are squeaking, wouldn't it be worth less? This is the same thing when you lease. The only difference is who's invested in the asset long term. When you buy your car, you're invested in the asset. Oh, car's not an investment, Deshaun. Oh, really? Well, if you were going to sell your car today for $20,000, somebody hits you, are you going to sell it for $20,000 the next day? Is that person going to pay you $20,000? No, you just lost two, dollars $3,000. Your car is an investment. The only difference between a lease and a purchase is who's invested in the asset for the long term. With a lease, the bank's invested for the long term. In three years, when you bring it back, they expect it to have the mileage you told them it'll have. They expect it to be in the condition that you said it would be in, fair condition. You don't get charged for wear and tear. Excess wear and tear, which, which is abuse of the car, yes, you will get charged for it. And you will get charged for that whether you owned it or leased it. If you don't understand how to buy cars and get your best deals, click the link in my description and let me help you.